Hi, coffee team. Uh, excited to show off our new barista capsule for you and run through some quick things that we need to do to get started. So first, just like with the old capsule, the first thing you want to do is run the power cord. Um, we're going to show you at the end a special trick for winding it, but run power first. So now that we have the power run, we're going to plug in the machine. So there's two cords here. This is a water hose and this is a power hose. And you just feed them through the top over here. So we're going to feed them down below. OK, so now that our cords are feed, fed down below, we can connect the water. They have easy connection valves on them. So all you have to do is push them in until you hear that click. So there's the water. And then, of course, our power goes in right here in this larger power source. OK, so our next step is going to be filling our water tank. So no more connecting to the hose and dealing with all that mess. We have a, um, I think it's a five gallon water tank here, or something like that. Um, and we can go fill it up in the kitchen. So if you come here, I'll just show you how you open it real quick. So you're going to open, put that that way. It pushes in, and then it rotates, and the little door comes out. So we filled our water tank, and now all we have to do is connect it to the whole capsule. Um, again, we have quick release valves to make that super simple. So we're going to grab our valve here. It has a little clip on the top. And then there's an out, and there's an in. So we want the water to come out, so we're going to connect it to the out. You pull up on the little ring here, push it down until it clicks, and release. Okay. So now the second thing we're going to do is we are going to turn the power on. We've plugged it in. We've plugged it in over there and over here, but now we actually have to power it on through our little panel box right here. So if you look, there's this little button right here at the bottom of the panel box. You push it up and then pull the door down. Hear that loud click, and you can open the door. And then all you have to do is move everything to on. So we have two yellow valves here. This one sends the water to the filter. So we're going to turn the um, handle in the direction of the filter so that water will start filtering through our filtration system. This one is your bypass valve. So if something's going wrong and the filter's not working, you can shut off this valve and send the water directly into the coffee machine. So for this one, we're going to face it towards this valve. So we're just going to turn it and that's gonna direct the water down into um, our machine here. And then the last plug you have to plug in is the filter plug, which is the one that has this little red cord on it, and it's just a regular plug, so you can put it into the regular outlet. Okay, so then we're going to power on the machine, same as the old one, we have to flip the switch in the back. And now we're ready to power on the machine, so we simply hit the, the power button. And that's gonna heat up the water for us, it takes a long time, so this is the first thing you want to do when you get here is run the power, get the water hooked up, and turn the machine on. Okay, and then to actually start brewing the coffee, we're going to start by measuring the grounds. So um, it's just easiest to take this whole thing because it takes a lot of grounds. So just take the whole thing out from here, put the liner in, put it on the scale, turn the scale on, so it's zeroed out. So we're at zero, and now we're going to measure 341 grams of grounds. So it's going to take like two and a half of these, so lots of grinding. And we're setting the grind to about 18. How you feeling? How you doing? 
Okay, so before we can actually stick the brewing basket into the machine and start the, the legit brew, we have to do a pre-brew like we did with the pour overs because these grounds are so fresh. If you just brew it regular, it'll volcano and explode and spew coffee grounds all over the place. So to do that, I'm just gonna put it on top of here so that the coffee can drip directly into the um, container. And then I'm just gonna use our, our pour over kettle and I'm going to just get it enough to release some of that gas. If you put too much water in during the pre-brew, um, when you brew the actual coffee, it'll overflow. So, so that's probably good enough just to let the water seep down and get all the grounds in there wet. It's gonna expand for us a little bit and then we'll be able to, once it dies down, we'll be able to stick the basket in and press the brew button. Okay, so our pre-brew has collapsed and so we're ready to brew. So I'm gonna stick the basket in right up here. Make sure our canister's directly underneath, fits nice and snug in there. And then we just uh, push the button next to large. It says brew, so I'm just gonna push the button and we're brewing. So it has a timer, it takes about seven minutes. So seven minutes and we're gonna get this whole beautiful container of coffee and then we'll be ready to do the next one. Okay, so let's talk through how to power down and wrap up and clean up the machine. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to turn off the brewer, um, both on the front and then by flipping the switch on the back of the brewer. And then once you have it turned off, you're going to want to empty all the water that's stored in the heating tank by using the hot water valve here. So get all the water out of the machine and get the machine totally powered down. And then we'll come down here and we will unplug everything we plugged in in the beginning and we'll um, turn all the valves to, um, to off. All the valves that we turn to on, we're gonna turn back the other way and turn them to the off position. And when you're powering everything down, after you've unplugged everything, don't forget to flip the breakers to off. So all the breakers need to be flipped to off. Once you've done that, you're going to want to disconnect and empty all the water out of this water tank. No sitting water for a week in the truck. Okay, and then once we have the um, power all shut down, all the water emptied, the last is just your regular cleanup. So cleaning out the carafes, um, cleaning down the cart, and making sure everything's um, nice and tidy and packed up ready to go. So yeah, you want to go over and under. So this is under, so left hand coils the rope, the cord under, and then this one goes over, then this one goes under, and then this one goes over, and this one goes under. Slip, slip.